Yes, come in. Have you found out anything? Please have a seat. I've been following your husband around for a few days now. I believe I've determined the uh, root of the problem. You have? Yes. At first, there was nothing in his behavior that seemed to add up, uh, but there were some prime factors. Oh, thank God. I thought I was the one going crazy. <laughs> uh, no, no, not at all. You weren't the least bit irrational about uh, coming to me for this. I first started noticing the signs that something was amiss when I followed him to the farmer's market. He hates apples. I'm not sure why, but I'm compelled to give these to you. That's very strange. Indeed. However, after a while, it's as if what he was doing was formulaic. I'm done with these now, thanks. Honey, have you seen any of my normal socks? All I can find are these brightly colored ones. Oh, purple? Why is it always purple? But what does all this mean? After that, I had seen enough to determine all I needed to know. I've seen different permutations of this before. You have? Yes, and I hate to tell you this, but I'm afraid what it means is not very good news. I know the answer to your problem. I know the answer to all your husband's problems. I, I don't understand. It appears your husband has come down with a serious case of word problems. Your husband is now merely a conduit for the most despised of all math-related questions, designed for the sole purpose of striking fear into the hearts of elementary school students across the country. He's become a math test now. So sorry. Horrible way to go. Now, I just want to be sure you haven't been in too close contact with him for extended periods of time. The symptoms may appear incrementally, but I think it might be contagious. I'm so sorry. I just remembered I have to catch train A, heading south at 65 miles per hour so that it can meet train B, heading north at 45 miles per hour. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it.